Most major cities across the U.S. and around the world have their own tram network that transports hundreds of thousands of people each day. Trams are the most efficient way to get large amounts of people around city streets. But you might be surprised to know that in one German city, their tram network was transporting more than just people right up until the end of 2020. Trams have been around for over two centuries. When they were first introduced, they were pulled by horses, and the difference between a tram and a train was somewhat unclear. Throughout the over two centuries of tram operation around the world, the use case and definition of a tram has changed several times. Trams have been used to carry people and freight in all different sorts of environments. In the early 20th century, most cities around the world had a tram network crisscrossing them, and the tram was how the majority of people got around the city. In some cities, trams were used to transport mail, milk, and various other cargo. But as the years progressed, trucks and vans more or less took over the jobs of cargo tram lines, and most were shut down and replaced with road-based transport. A few cities, however, did maintain them, but only on a small scale, and usually just to transport tram parts to a maintenance depot or transporting trash out of the city. But there was one case in which it would make sense to restart this service. In the late 90s, Volkswagen was planning to create a factory where the public could better understand the production of the company's cars, and where the company could be overall more transparent about the whole process. Funny how that worked out with the whole Dieselgate thing. The factory would feature exhibits where the public could learn about Volkswagen's history and manufacturing processes. In order to be easily accessible to the public, the facility would need to be built right in the middle of a city, but this would prevent a few challenges. With real estate being expensive and only available in small sections, as well as traffic problems getting things in and out of the factory, this would be no easy task. The lack of space meant that there would be little room to unload trucks or store large amounts of parts on site. And if the factory was seen to add too many trucks to the city's roads, getting permission for construction would be extremely difficult. But that didn't stop the company, who had a vision for this factory to be built right in the heart of Dresden. This required an interesting and unique solution, the cargo tram. Volkswagen would build a warehouse and truck transfer facility in Dresden's freight district, where the cargo could be unloaded from trucks and stored. Then the parts would be transferred to a unique tram that would operate along normal tram lines to the factory, where the tram would enter an indoor warehouse where it could be unloaded. The transparent factory was only responsible for final assembly. So most completed frames and car bodies, as well as finished products, would be all shipped in and out by truck. But most of the smaller parts would be shipped by tram. Two special cargo trams would be built specifically for transporting car parts. The cargo trams would typically have a control cab on each end, with three freight carrying cars in the middle. But like a normal tram, all axles of the vehicle would be driven. This typical formation had the equivalent capacity of three trucks. Volkswagen and Dresden Transport would reach a deal for the operation of the vehicle, and cargo tram service would start in 2001, with trams running every hour, but if needed, they could run every 40 minutes. The service was ultimately a success. Even with Volkswagen changing the model the factory was producing, the tram was still retained as part of the process, owing to its ultimately successful operation. But in late 2020, Volkswagen was again changing the plant's model, and it was announced the trams would be withdrawn at the end of the year, as the new logistics strategy introduced was not going to incorporate them. The trams are now sitting idle, but they are available to any other company in Dresden who wants to make use of them. The Cargo Tram, an interesting but ultimately successful way to transport cargo to a factory in the city center. The status quo is still truck transport of freight into city centers around the world. But the Cargo Tram showed that there was indeed another way to do it. Be sure to subscribe for more.